There we go. All right. It's recording. Okay. So I just wanted to show, first of all, that um, the light language that I did yesterday for acceptance of acceptance came from these cards. So I just randomly went to my deck and I picked, we got light language with acceptance and vibrations, tones, and higher frequencies. So I thought that was really cool. I uh, felt like it was a message to do the light language. And I see that uh, there's some people really enjoying the light language, so I'll continue to do, try and do some more. Um, another thing that's really cool that happened when I was uh, getting ready for this video is I was thinking, man, I would love to make another, like work on another creative project or paint. I miss painting since I moved. I just haven't had time, you know, and you make the time to create something, to create maybe a new deck. And the card that came out was creation. <laughs> so definitely very cool. Okay, so I had to share that. Other than that, this is going to be a message from the fairies. I felt like using my fairy deck. So it is the fairy blessing cards by Lucy Cavendish. All right. So we're going to get an oracle card from the fairies. Okay. Fairies, what message do you have for us today? Let it be known and clear, please. A blessing of Aine, Aine, Aine. Blessing of Aine. Let's see, can you see it? Well, you know what? That's probably the best way you're going to see it. Here we go. Yeah. Like that. So you kind of see. There we go. A blessing of Aine, Aine. So that looks like number nine. A blessing of Aine. The fairy gift of physical innocence. The blessing of knowing your body is your own. A source of gladness and enjoyment. The fairies now bless you with the restoration of your innocence. That sense of being completely cleared of any guilt or dissonance around your body and your right to have complete, completed sovereignty over your physicality. Your body belongs to you, fairy friend. It is yours to share or to hold to yourself. It is your choice to take lovers, to be free of all commitments, or to explore. It is your choice, and as long as you follow the magical principle of do no harm, you may do as you will. Let all your choices come from a healthy place. Let your sharings be nourishing and wild, freeing and glorious. Let its intimacy grow. Yet freedom remain, and let none ever make you feel ashamed of your choices regarding your own beautiful body. Be with whom you wish, do as you will, but, and ye harm none. Let yourself know that this gift of physical sharing or the joy of the body is to be from this time forth without shame. Let the fairy goddess Aine clear from you any residual fears around this aut aut autonomy and protect you from any forms of manipulation. You are blessed and whole and without sin. You are a child of nature, of the earth, and your physicality is blessed and beautiful and clean as pure flowing moonlight. How beautiful. I love it. And a side note, what's interesting is I thought about this this morning, how, I don't know how this would happen, but I could see myself helping other women, primarily women, because I'm a woman, so I have experience in like, getting to know their own body, being in love with their body, because I feel like at this point in my life, I'm very comfortable and love uh, my body. And it, it, it's, I mean, I have here and there, you know, moments and stuff that I like to look, but overall, my overall, like sensuality, sexuality, the body, the spiritual, I just have embodied the goddess energy so much that I, I feel like maybe that could be part of my, um, I don't know. So I'm just putting that out there. Um, other feminines, you know, to help other feminines express their, their way and essential way. I just, and it's really interesting how this card came out. So everything, 
you know, aligns and everything is, it's really interesting how, how that works. Yeah, a blessing of belief is also here. I'm going to split the deck. A blessing from Queen Ma. Fairies, do you have any other messages? A blessing of fairy magic. And this is, let's see, 33. The fairy gift of enchantment. Fairy magic is a blessing to us all, and in truth, you work with it without even knowing much of the time. When this gift of fairy magic comes to you, let there be a sense that whatever you touch has a spark of magic to it, a little extra life force flowing through the fingers, a little extra depth in the way you see the world, a little extra tastiness to the food you eat, and a little extra kindness to you every day. Let whatever magic you decide to create have the blessing of the Fae, so your words and your actions, your wishes and dreams begin to merge one into the other until the inner world is mirrored by the outer world and you feel you are creating what you desire in your life and aligning closer and closer and closer with the lunar cycles, the solar cycles, the growing times, and the harvest. Come closer to the budding and the blooming and to, to the fall of the leaf and work within these energies so that you wish that what you wish for its truest chance of actualizing into the world of nature. The natural world is alive and humming with fairy magic, and now this blessing is offered to you as a co-creation, a ceremony, a desired meet action, a blessing that is enacted. You are a blessed child of the Fae, and they offer you now their magic, this entry into the natural world so that you too can know the gift of the touch that brings life into the world. Blessings of fairy magic to you, friend. Beautiful. So there you go. That's a message from the Fae. And I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.